is just a quick video to say why I am sick of the modern day consumer throwaway capitalist society. I am sick of it. So many things in the last few days have just failed on me. And why? Because of companies deliberately not building things at well on purpose so that consumers have to go and buy more items. It's a disgusting throwaway society and it's destroying this planet. This planet is destroyed because people are buying things unnecessarily simply because companies don't make things that work well because they're all competing with each other and they want repeat trade. So why do company build something to run perfectly when they can build take just to run good enough so people are satisfied with it? Then it fails and you have to go and buy a new one. Completely ruining the environment, you've got global warming, we've got a climate emergency, and then companies just build things cheap. It is so disgusting. It just pisses me off. And I've had so many things fail recently. Look at this board here. This is the power supply for my TV. It went bang. Why is it gone bang? Is it for MOSFETs? No, the MOSFETs look good. Yep, those all look good. Is it the capacitors? No, those also look good. Is it the Transformers? No, those also look good. What is it? Well, guess what? It is the white goo. And notice that brown mark on the board there? Yep, it's had an arc flash. The insulating goo that stops arcs deteriorated over time, fouled, and a big arc came off it, and it went bang. So I have everything in the telly. The point of, a fa the point of failure. What's this, the white goo? That is disgusting. And to think that when this happens, this telly was only 10 years old, and think when this happens, most people just throw the whole thing away. The whole telly be put in a bin, and they'd buy another one. That's what the company wants. That's what Samsung wants. And that pisses me off. Unnecessary consumption. Unnecessary manufacturing of new items, destroying the planet, when you could just manufacture items to last a long time. But that is the capitalist system. People say capitalism is about bringing down cost through competition. And while that does work in some scenarios, there's lots of cases of the good side of capitalism. Let's talk about Ryanair, how cheap Ryanair is. That's a brilliant example of good ca capitalism. Then you've got supermarkets. Those also bring prices down. Another example of really good capitalism. But in other places, even though capitalism may work for certain areas, other areas, all it does is bring down quality. People are not interested in having things that last a long time. All people are interested in price, so good quality things are simply not made. Companies want repeat trade, so they've got no incentive to make things good quality, and it leads to overconsumption of stuff unnecessarily. It really pisses me off. And most people just throw a telly away when it's happened, buy a new telly. Well, I've actually bought a second-hand board and it, I put a new board and telly and it works. Don't know how long it'll work for. Probably not that long, probably. Then we've got printer. And why are printers so famous for not lasting? Why? It is a piece of fucking cheap shit. Fuck's sake, why can't I just build these things to work? Throw away society. Look at heavy. This is not like some light thing. It's a cannon printer and it's heavy. Think of all of that going into waste. Then another one being brought and these things only last look, around three years. Wow, the planet can't support all this unnecessary consumption. It's just so depressing. And it's failed because the, the paper jam sensors are gone. I'll give it a go fixing it, but I don't think there's much chance of fixing this one. And now I think it also failed. I've had a lot of failures of stuff over the last month. This music player, this is from the early 2000s. It's about 18 years old. And this music player has brilliant sound quality. The sound quality is so much better than any modern day speakers. Think of all those modern day Bluetooth speakers you see selling in shops and various stereo systems. They're rubbish compared to this music player built in the early 2000s. It was like the golden era of these CD players. And I don't think I could go to a shop and buy a CD player with as good sound quality. The amplifier's amazing, the speakers are amazing, everything's amazing about it. But it failed. What's the point of failure? Well, it's the overcomplicated CD system. It has one CD tray, but you can then put in three different CDs and it shuffles them round on a mechanism in the back of the tray. And this shuffling mechanism is overly complex and it gets jammed at a certain part of its travel. I've oiled it thoroughly, changed the belt on the motor, it now just about works, but probably not for long. Which is so depressing. It's not even like I can just get a replacement player of the same quality because modern day stuff is all Bluetooth and most stuff has lossy compression MP3, proper lossless CD players. I don't know if I'll get a replacement really. It's so depressing. We've got another thing that didn't last. Guess what? 
this is brand new. It's Hoover, brand new from John Lewis. It's a Vax Hoover. The battery just didn't last. Well, don't buy battery Hoovers. The batteries are not up to it. It's Hoover. This less than six months old. The battery just is worn out. Barely holds a charge. Utterly disgusting. So let's compare this to old stuff. Here is a 1970s radio. This radio was built in the 70s and had a lot of abuse. Well, I think it might be 80s, 70s or 80s, I'm not sure which. It's been in the kitchen right next to the cooker and it's had all cooking stuff on it. It's had a lot of abuse over its life. And guess what? It works perfectly because back then they made things to last. There's a lot of stuff I can show, such as this radio here. I've done a review of this radio previously and this radio is from 70s. Absolutely perfect and the sound quality sounds great. So much better than a lot of modern day appliances. It works fine as well. And, oh, something I just found in my loft. I was clearing up my loft. And I found this, this little music player from when I was a baby. Now consider, this is a little baby's toy. Just some little toy you give to a baby. Nothing special, really. But look how solid that is. I could throw that off of the roof of my house and it wouldn't break. Look how solid that is. If I had a baby in a modern day and I went to a shop to buy a baby toy, do you think I could buy a baby toy of this quality? I don't think so. You just don't get that quality in anything nowadays. And it really pisses me off when people like Moggy, Jacob Rees Mogg, go on about how capitalism should be left to be untouched. You just don't interfere and let capitalism happen. Because that's just a load of bollocks. As an ideology, that's not how things should be. If you leave, if you leave capitalism to just be untouched, all that happens is quality goes down, prices go down through all of demand to make prices lower, then companies take over other companies and you end up with a monopoly. Capitalism overall, if it's left untouched, doesn't make good demand for the consumer, doesn't leave the consumer more choice and lower prices. Capitalism ends up with things being worse built and things and monopolies happen. Capitalism only works when you have very tight restrictions, very heavy controls over companies to stop companies doing whatever the hell they like. And a lot of things are based all around ideology. There's on the other hand, if you have complete socialism, that often doesn't work either. We need a blend of the two. So on certain things like supermarkets, flights, and uh, certain items, demand drives it down. Usually in the food industry, demand drives down prices and drives up quality. So in some areas, capitalism really works. When in other areas, Socialism really works, like on the railway. Since the railways were privatised, the quality has gone downhill massively and the fares have gone up. So rather than just sticking to some ideology, oh, I love socialism, or oh, I love capitalism, what you need is both. And what I would do if I was in charge is I had two systems competing directly with each other. So I'd have, maybe you'd contact with consumer goods. You could have a socialist system owned by a government that makes consumer goods and the capitalist system, individual companies making consumer goods, and whichever makes the best would win. So you could either have a socialist system win or the capitalist system win. In other words, the best system works. And in some areas, capitalism is the best system. In other areas, socialism is. But very few places work on that principle. But most countries in the world either have socialism or capitalism. They don't have the two competing. And what I want to see is both systems going head to head and competing. And that way, individual people would get the best of both worlds. But it doesn't seem like that's going to happen, especially not with the Conservatives, especially not with people like Moggy being in the government. All that's going to happen is capitalism's left to be completely untouched, allowed to run right, and things go downhill for the consumer. You're a depressing state of the modern day world, and while that's all happening and people are buying stuff that doesn't last and they throw it away in a few years, well, who's paying a price for it? The planet is. As more production of stuff, more global warming, the whole country's economy should not be based around conspicuous consumption. The unnecessary consumption of stuff is what keeps the economy going, and it's wrong. He looks at the clothes industry. I think most people barely even keep clothes for more than a few months before throwing them away nowadays. It's so bad for the environment. You need better quality items that last longer. And one other thing, what about my shoes? Look at the state of this shoe. Look at that, falling apart, held on just by a little bit there. And loads of people say, why haven't I replaced these shoes? Well, maybe it's because 
I don't see the need of conspicuous consumption. I'm not social pressured by a capitalist system or by society to always have to have new stuff for the sake of new stuff. Well, something's not broke, I don't see a need to replace it. And I want that message. I want a message against overconsumption, capitalism, where it goes wrong and where people keep buying stuff unnecessarily, which costs the planet. And for that reason, I'm not going to buy new shoes, not until they're fully worn out. These shoes cost me £18. I got his back in the tail end of recession, back when Nike were doing some very cheap deals in their outlet shops. Obviously, that's not a case anymore. Nike no longer do sort of really good cheap deals. Back in the recession, £18 for a new set of shoes. That was good value. So why throw them away when they still just about work for now? Anyway, that is now the end of the video.